Hey, what's up, guys? Ryan Rig, the host of your show, Ryan Vlogs 2, not the number two. Not like you're going to watch this vlog, but TO, like in addition, like also, check this out. It's Monday. We're all in the, the work gear grind. Got the jeans and the boots, and I know I'm rocking a t shirt and a little jacket, but look, it is sunny outside. It is warm. It's supposed to be about 74 today, which is really nice. So, my mom. Um, we talked about that. She was in town this weekend, and she's heading back to uh, St. Louis today, or today, tonight, 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 today, uh, today. So, um, I think she has a ride down to St. Louis to the airport, so she can fly back to Atlanta. Uh, but we're supposed to link up here in a little bit. Um, I got some things going on, just running some errands and stuff, and work stuff, and then uh, we're gonna go out. Um, to the cemetery where my grandfather's at so gonna be a little emotional twist to the day but always good to pay your respects to your loved ones and you know my grandpa is uh, he, meant, he meant everything to me my mom our family just kind of the cornerstone you know of our family so me as the oldest uh, grandson I kind of take that you know feel fulfilled fulfill that role is just kind of being the oldest there for the family so we're gonna go out there and be strong together you know and my mom with her living in Atlanta, it makes it hard for her to get here to Springfield and visit um, the cemetery. So we're going to go out there, and I'll probably just take the camera so you guys can see it. I know you guys have seen uh, his grave before, but I always like to pay my respects and, you know, and include him uh, in the vlog. That's the whole reason why I started Gaming for Grandpa. So if you're not familiar with that channel, it's my YouTube, another YouTube channel. It's a gaming channel. Um, Basically, for every $10 we earn on the channel, $8 is being donated to the Alzheimer's Association in loving memory of my grandpa. So that channel is pure nonprofit, and it's something we're trying to grow. You know, it's got, I think, 13,000 subscribers on it. So now that I've been daily vlogging, it's taken some of my resources away from that. So I really need to focus and get some gameplays uploaded. But yeah, guys, it's Monday. I hope you guys had a good weekend. We are here. The daily vlogs are continuing. I promise to just deliver that as much as I can. So we're going to head out to the cemetery, like I said, and we'll see what else uh, the day may bring. But I hope you guys had a good weekend so far. And make sure you check out uh, yesterday's vlog. Probably be annotated right up above my finger uh, because I do talk about a new giveaway and I don't want you guys to miss it. So make sure you check that out. And uh, yeah, we'll check in with you guys throughout the day. Happy Monday. You guys' comments yesterday were just absolutely amazing. All the people that wished happy anniversary, one year anniversary to Karen and I. You guys are just awesome. I always love reading your comments in the vlog. It's like the best part, you know. Congrats on the one year anniversary. Another great video. Keep this up. Great things ahead for the channel. Uh, just found you recently, but congrats on the one year anniversary. Hey Ryan, how's it going? Stay strong. Happy anniversary. Yes, uh, let's see here. Love the Simplistic Sundays idea. Congrats on the one-year anniversary. Definitely good advice on enjoying the little things in life from Stephen Knight. You guys are just awesome. Just awesome people. I, I have the utmost respect for all of the people that subscribe to the channel and just leave these amazing comments like yesterday. Uh, like the simple white background and just on the couch. It's awesome very awesome you guys are just amazing so let's see who else uh jason ritt awesome vlog and love the idea for sunday's vlog episode as they say you miss 100 percent of the chances you don't take do what your heart tells you to do and own every second this world gives to you i like that it was very awesome jason it's very poetic do what your heart tells you to do and own every second this world gives to you that's great words words of wisdom always good to see your vlog brother it helps keep me grounded and appreciative of my family and friendship so congrats man tell your son i said hi and wow almost 200 vlogs just passing by to enjoy your daily vlogs as always have a good one congratulations on the one year uh this is happy anniversary congratulations on the one year as far as the vlogs go do what makes you happy from phil uh Haruf, Haruf. just nice vid Oh my, uh, awesome video. Keep up the great work. Love your videos. That's, that's just some of the comments on yesterday's vlog. That doesn't include any of the other vlogs. That's just yesterday. That's what makes this just one of the best, literally the best experiences ever, I think, is just reading that genuineness, the heartfeltness, um, the fact you guys take the time to watch and then to comment, things like that is, it takes time, you know? And that's real emotion. That's for, uh, spoken from the heart. So, 
you guys are awesome. I really, really love you guys. So, yeah, hey, hey. But like I said, make sure you check out that vlog uh, from yesterday because I don't want you to miss out on what I talked about. I know my grandpa would love this beautiful air today and beautiful sunshine and green grass and well manicured. Oh, miss my grandpa a lot. I know my whole family does. My mom and my aunt are meeting me here. It's really tough, really tough sometimes uh, visiting with grandpa and just can't help but think about all the memories and good times and that's that's what I hold on to you know that's what life is all about is passing on morals and values and traditions you know to your kids you know that's what I try to instill in Brayden it's just honesty integrity loyalty hard work and it's just uh, you know my grandpa was a United States Air Force veteran and Unfortunately, he died of Alzheimer's. Just really tough, you know. He passed away August 22nd, 2013, and uh, no matter how much time passes, it certainly does not uh, get any easier. I feel like I get stronger, but it definitely does not uh, get any easier. And I always feel his presence, but when I come out here, I just, I, I feel a closeness, you know, someone take some time off of camera and spend that here with my grandpa. But, you know, this is part of what I'm doing today and a large part of who I am and why I do a lot of the things I do is because of my grandpa. And I just want a lot of people to understand that, you know, that's the vision and motivation behind gaming for grandpa. So I know he would appreciate it and definitely enjoy it. So. Uh, and he would thank all of you, you know, for supporting what we're doing, you know, to we're gaming to end Alzheimer's, you know, one video at a time. And this is real life, you know, this is, you know, obviously with Alzheimer's in the, in my genes or in the bloodline for the family, you know, there's a chance I could develop that, my son, anybody else in the family. So it's something everyone needs to be aware of, you know, Alzheimer's, dementia. And unfortunately for my grandfather, it, you know, it took over his body as Alzheimer's does and ultimately it took his life and it's, uh, like I said, it doesn't, uh, it does not, does not get any easier, but it's, it's very peaceful out here and it's just very nice with the sun. I think, like I said, I know he would enjoy the greenness and just the trees and the, everything going on. Uh, just leaving the cemetery, like I said, just always uh, hard, you know, especially just hard seeing my mom that upset because that's her dad, you know, so um, I told you earlier today she was heading to the airport uh, to St. Louis to fly back to Atlanta um, and she, I, my aunt was going to take her, but now my aunt can't take her, so I'm my aunt's taking my mom back to where her friend's house where her bags are at, so I'm going to go pick my mom up there. Um, and we're gonna drive down to uh, St. Louis today. So kind of a interesting twist of events uh, Take her down to the airport and then drive back. So it's about like a, about four and a half Four and a half hour adventure for me there and back, you know to uh, drive down to St. Louis Airport and then back so interesting twist in the vlog so definitely be We'll see, my mom's pretty emotional today, so I've, I've put her in a vlog a couple times before, but I'm not sure if she'll be feeling up to it today. We'll see. But nonetheless, now we're going to be heading on the road to go to St. Louis. So definitely an interesting, interesting Monday. But I mean, I think about the 
millions of places. My mom probably shuffle, uh, shuttled me around as a kid. It would only be right to give her a ride. I mean, I would anyway, because she's my mom, but it would only be right. It would only make sense to do that. So I te text Karen at work and said the idea of me maybe having to take my mom to the airport would come up and Karen gets off 4.30, I knew I'd have to leave before that and then I wouldn't be able to see her till later tonight. So I was like, can I stop by your office and see you before I leave? So I wanna make sure I get a little, at least a little give her a hug and kiss before I go. Um, so I'm gonna try to head over there and catch her at work if that's possible. I sent her a text, I know she's real busy because I have stuff going on this week for work and a conference towards the end of the week, so I know she's super busy, so uh, I'll have to check see if she responded yet. But back on the road and go visit with Karen and then uh, pick up my mom real quick and then back on the road and now headed to St. Louis. Crazy twist of events today. It would be good to get some R&R uh, &R time, you know, sit back and relax with mom on the road before she gets back into town. So it'll it'll be calming, you know, for her and get her, get her mind right to get ready for the big flight. So, well, it's actually a quick flight from St. Louis to Atlanta. Very quick flight. A little bit of fuel, a little bit of petrol. Well, we made it safely. It's so busy down here at Lambert International Airport in St. Louis at Terminal 2. Mom's flying southwest today. Just dropped her off. She just went inside the gate. So sad. I'm leaving. What's that? I went to back up there and I got in trouble. I thought I was getting pulled over by the police. He's like, you need to go forward. I'm like, oh, okay. So now going forward, all these people flying southwest, and so is my mom. And now mom is leaving St. Louis. We made it down here pretty good time. It's about 5.15, her flight's at 6.30 uh, 6 I believe, so that gives her plenty of time. Plenty of time to get uh, through security, so now I gotta navigate all this five o'clock downtown St. Louis traffic and get back home. Let's see, we gotta go west or east, get back on Interstate 70. Very familiar sign here at the airport with Hertz rental cars and, oh goodness, but we, oops, I went the mic into the roof, but we made it, we made it safely. And that was kind of a, an interesting twist to uh, today's events, having to come down to St. Louis, but it's good to spend that last little bit of time with my mom and talk to her, so I'm kind of tired, it's just been a long day, I just, when you travel you're always tired so now i've got the uh two hour drive back home yay so and i'm by myself now so i need to stop over here and get something to drink and then hit the road so i guess if anybody was in st louis for the next two minutes it wouldn't matter i couldn't see it because the vlog will already be uploaded after i left so once i get home tonight uh, eventually then i'll get this edited and uploaded Check in with Brayden, check in with Karen, but I gotta get back on 70 East to head back to the homestead. But I hope my mom has a good flight. Look at all that traffic out there. Oh my goodness. All this traffic. And I see what's coming up behind me is a Dodge Challenger, which is epic. And it's uh looks like it's an RT, but it has a scat pack, so an SRT motor. So here's where I'm at right now, the Lambert International Airport. Get back on the highway. Like I said, I'm gonna stop over here and grab something to drink. My mom filled up my gas tank, which was sweet to drive down here. So, back on 70, everyone's going out of St. Louis and we're going to St. Louis to pass through, but I'm gonna take Interstate 270 and go around St. Louis but traffic is bumper to bumper and gridlocked on both lanes. Here we come. Oh no. Oh yeah. Oh, here's the police. We probably should put the camera down here. There was an SUV back there and all this traffic guys. Oh my goodness. There's some 
incredible. Absolutely incredible. We gotta get all the way over like four lanes of traffic here, which is gonna be incredibly awesome. On Interstate 270, we're doing like 15 miles an hour. There was that epic challenger with the scat pack. Yeah. Looking pretty sweet, but now we're deadlocked. Now we're deadlocked. And I need to get over another lane. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna do it right now. Thank you, I'm coming over. Appreciate it, we're here. Thanks. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta be aggressive. You gotta get it done when you're in bumper to bumper traffic in a big city. You just have to do it. You just have to take the plunge and do it. Like I gotta get over one more lane here. So I'm gonna take advantage right now with this car. Come on, go, 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 go. Thank you. Yay. Nice people. Let me through. Dun 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 dun. It's the five o'clock grind. The five o'clock traffic grind. We're gonna go over one more lane here and make this process just a little bit zippier. Yes, we are. Boom, boom, boo, boo. I see my opening in three, two, one. I'm signaling and here we go. Ready? Nailed it. Bye-bye traffic. All this, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye St. Louis traffic. I'm lucky that where I'm going and where I'm, or where I live and where I'm going, I get to avoid all of this. Yay. All right, guys, I'm gonna get through this traffic just a little bit more here, because it is 5.20 St. Louis rush hour traffic. So I'm gonna get back to driving and driving safely. And then uh, I'll chat with you guys here shortly. There we go, there we go. Traffic is a little safer, still a lot of it. Uh, but I'm on Interstate 270, kind of bypassing St. Louis, so that I can catch uh, Interstate 55 and get on my way back home. With it getting darker earlier, too, is just a drag, because part of my drive, I think, is going to be in the dark, which I don't mind. I don't mind driving at night. It's just what it is. But the nights, the night, the day is coming to an end here quickly, and the nighttime sky is rushing in. Definitely gonna have to hit a car wash too because I'm driving down here to St. Louis, caught all these bugs. So many bugs on the windshield. But the weather's still nice, about 73 here. Just cruising on the road. I'll probably need to uh, outro this vlog uh, before it gets dark, otherwise, you won't be able to see me because there's no uh, low light performance in video mode using the GoPro, so as we continue cruising on 270. Just passing Bellefontaine Neighbors. It's the name of a little suburb outside of St. Louis. Bellefontaine Neighbors. Exit 31A, St. Louis, bypassing that. We just gotta catch Interstate 55. And then get back going home. Hopefully my mom has made it through security okay and is just getting ready to board her plane after a bit. Hopefully she'll get some food and just kind of chill out a little bit before her flight. As we continue the road trip. It's like a road trip to St. Louis where I didn't actually go to an Apple store, which is a shocker. <laughs> Coming up on the state line, Illinois state line. Yay. Not really yay, but yay. Yay. Coming up on my exit to get on the interstate. Well, I'm on the interstate, but to get on 55 North to Chicago and Springfield. So then from there, it's about, um, I think in like an hour, about an hour and a half. Chicago Springfield exit, yay. Let's go, baby, the, the hype is real. I-55 North. I will continue on 
thanks to my turn-by-turn -turn navigation. Thanks, Toyota. Ooh, look, the sun came out. Right there at the end of the vlog, the sun comes out. Now that's just awesome. RTA, but it still gets up and zooms with its available 268 horsepower and a paddle shifter uh, on paddle shifted V6. Yay! Get on the road. It seems like on the road again every day in the vlogs. On the road again. I'm gonna get over here in the slow lane, kick the cruise control on. 70 mile an hour speed limit, so we'll set it for about 73 ish, 74 ish. Sounds really good to me. I still need to stop and get a drink and use the bathroom. I brought a can of Mountain Dew with me, but it's almost gone. So we got the cruise set here. I'm gonna make a stop and uh, use the restroom. Last final pit stop before I get home, but uh, yeah, guys, I'm the host of your show, Ryan Rig. Ryan Vlogs 2, not the number two. Not like you're going to take your mother or father to the airport if you need to tomorrow or today. But T.O. like in addition like also. If you enjoyed today's vlog and a little different. Uh, definitely wasn't expecting going to St. Louis at the beginning of the vlog. But if you did enjoy it please click the thumbs up button. Um, subscribe to the channel if you're not. Like I said check out yesterday's vlog. Some giveaway information in there that I don't want you guys to miss out on. But I'm going to just finish the drive home, get this video edited and then uploaded when I get home. And hopefully it'll get up by tonight. Just doesn't leave me a lot of time after I get home to get edited, then rendered, then uploaded. But I'm going to do, do it as best as I can and as fast as I can. So like I said, if you enjoyed the vlog, please click thumbs up button. And I uh, hope you guys have a good Monday and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Decision to use this space up here, my bedroom that I've been working on forever, which is kind of like a second makeshift studio i've got the couch up here and stuff i want to do some stuff on the walls uh, get a different lens so i can film at a different angle but i thought well on sundays we could probably hang out up here on the couch and just kind of do like uh where we do it you know we're still vlogging every day 